boy Anne Slat. He wants to remove the plastic in the ocean. How? Let's start with why. It's 2010. Boyan is 16 and he loves scuba diving. This year, he's diving in Greece. His friend thinks he sees jellyfish. But Boyan tells him they aren't jellyfish, they're plastic bags. Boyan decides something needs to be done. He has an idea to clean up the ocean. A year later, Boyan is working on a project for school. He finds out that about 8 million tons of plastic enter the ocean each year. Imagine 50 grocery bags full of plastic on every square meter of every beach. That's how much plastic is in the ocean. Boyan wonders how long it would take to remove that much trash. How long would it take for boats to collect that much trash in the ocean? 79,000 years! But Boyan estimates that his invention would remove almost half of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in only 10 years. How does it work? Now we can answer that question. Boyan's ocean cleanup system is made out of long floating barriers, which allow the ocean currents to collect plastic at the center. Just like a beach naturally collects trash on shore, Boyan's invention collects trash in the middle of the ocean. As Boyan says, why move through the ocean if the ocean can move through you? Once the trash collects at the center, Boyan and his team can take it out, store it, and ship it to land for recycling. Now it's 2016. Boyan releases a model of his invention into the North Sea. But this is just the beginning. If the model works, Boyan plans to release his invention in the Pacific by 2020. And if it doesn't, Boyan plans to continue his work until he can dive in a plastic-free ocean. Think about where you live. Is there a swimming pool nearby? A fountain? A river or lake? Does the water near you need a clean-up?